In this video, we'll be discussing about the hormonal control of insect metamorphosis. If we see, there are mainly two hormones which drive the insect metamorphosis. The first one is the 20-hydroxyacidosone and the second one is juvenile hormone. The 20-hydroxyacidosone is the steroid, while as the juvenile hormone is the lipid. The 20-hydroxyacidosone drives different molds in insects, like it drives the larva to larva molds, larva to pupa and larva to adult molds while as juvenile hormone drives only larva to larva molds but it must be noted here that 20 hydroxyacidosone induced changes are prevented by the presence of juvenile hormone we see if the juvenile hormone concentration increases the 20e shows no effect on the molds so that time only larva to larva molds are driven but once the juvenile hormone concentration decreases, the 20 hydroxyacidosone starts its larva to pupa molds and larva to adult molds. Now let's see in detail the hormonal control of insect metamorphosis. In this diagram, we can see the brain of insect. It's having neurosecretory cells, the corpora cardica and corpora alata. First of all, corpora alata secretes juvenile hormone which then combines with juvenile hormone receptor. Once juvenile hormone combines with the receptor, it gets into the nucleus, where it drives the expression of larval genes by producing the larval RNA. And then by this way, there is a formation of larval structures. This juvenile hormone drives the expression of pupil structures in the cell also, but at low concentrations and when 20 hydroxyacidosone is present. So this form is the differentiating signal. Now getting to the corpora cardica part of brain. The cells in this part secrete the prothoracicotropic hormone, PTTH, and this PTTH goes to the prothoracic gland and stimulates the secretion of acidosone hormone. And this acidosone gets into the mitochondria and gets converted into 20 hydroxyacidosone now, this 20 hydroxyacidosone works on all the three cases. 20 hydroxyacidosone specifically drives the pupil and adult molds, but only when the juvenile hormone is present in low concentrations. We see 20 e drives the expression of genes, which leads to adult structures and also the pupil structures, but only when the juvenile hormone is present in low concentrations. Once the concentration of juvenile hormone raises, the 20 hydroxyacidosone shows no effect on molds. And at that time, only larva to larva molds are driven. So, PTTH mediated metamorphosis forms the molting signal in insects. So, this concludes the hormonal control of insect metamorphosis. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.